So here on uh, MBD Web 2014, we show the new uh, Intel i210 uh, Ethernet controller that makes a uh, very good uh, uh, performance uh, for the Powerlink master market. Innovasic uh, FIDO that integrates Powerlink, which will be also available uh, this year at 2014. <laughs> We are here because we are positioning EtherCAT as an embedded bus system as well. EtherCAT is the only real-time Ethernet technology that does not require any additional hardware in the master. All we need is an Ethernet port, so it's perfectly suitable for embedded systems. Whenever CAN is not fast enough anymore, the bandwidth is not sufficient, or distances are exceeded that CAN could cover. That's why we're here, and uh, we're very happy with the response we get at this show. <laughs> yeah, hello, this is Safety Network. First of all, we say congratulations to the anniversary of the um, industrial release of book. And uh, we too have an anniversary this year. We are 15 years safety network. That means 15 years safe communication and communication for automation networks. Um, I invite you to read our magazine Connected, which gives you a lot of information about our 15 years. And um, we're glad to come in contact with you. Many greetings from Nuremberg, from the Embedded World. See you. Good afternoon, my name is Tim Burgess from Renesis Electronics uh, here at Embedded World 2014. Uh, Renesis was pleased to be here talking about our latest products, solutions and services. Uh, one of the key areas we're pleased to talk about is the area of factory automation. It's one of the key market zones for the European business. A lot of the key industry standards and customers are based here. And it's a key part of our strategic direction. So we're very pleased to be here talking about products and solutions and added value for the customers in that market zone. Thank you very much. Leo with Lantronics and we're here um, showing an e-bike concept. We're partnered with a company called El Moto and they, they're a producer of electric bikes, both bicycles, motorcycles, and all types of bikes. And we're working with them on a new, uh, a new version that has our X People Wi-Fi product enabled, which allows um, Wi-Fi communications between the bicycle and the home office. So rather than wait till the bike is brought back to um, download information, you can have real-time data, everything from how the gearbox is performing to the GPS route that the bike is taking. As you can imagine, if there's a fleet of these bikes, um, they can manage thousands of them and aggregate all the data and learn how to improve the bicycle, the bike, over time because you're having real-time information about that. Hello, my name is Tom Weingartner. I'm with InnoBasic. And I'm here today at uh, Embedded World 2014 to show uh, a Profinet IRT solution. And you can see here our solution is a Profinet IRT switch. And this switch is measuring the time it takes to show a reaction. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to push the go button. And you see here all the lights go when that turns green push the button, and voila, you can see that we have here on the web server what my reaction time is. Ah, 1.1 seconds, pretty slow, not a good reaction, but it shows the utility of IRT. It shows the synchronous capability of IRT, as well as being able to do a web server. Um, and so Profinet is really flexible and it provides that flexibility. So it can support 90 watts uh, because the main uh, application need more than PoE power than 30 watts. So we designed a 90 watt PoE. So it can uh, support gigabits and uh, 90 watt power from uh, Ethernet cable. And we also have uh, another device, uh, PoE plus plus splitter. So it can split PoE 90 watt power from data and uh, power output. So it's the PoE, uh, uh, PoE plus plus injector in the splitter can provide a very high power for PoE application. This is uh, Sanjay Mali from Echelon Corporation. I'm the Director of Product Management here. We're at uh, Embedded World in Nuremberg. Uh, we are demonstrating our iZot platform, which is our open platform for implementing devices and control networks for the industrial Internet of Things. Uh, we build silicon devices, both processors and uh, transceivers, 
for uh, building communities of devices, uh, for building automation and other industrial automation networks. Um, we supply chips, uh, stacks, modules, uh, routers, management uh, tools, as well as uh, development kits uh, that allow our OEMs uh, to build products uh, that form peer-to-peer -peer communities of devices uh, autonomously. That's what we specialize in.